Waiting for Caitlin. Waiting for the Caitlin. They were here today, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's Caitlin time again. Newfoundlanders are gathering on the beaches throughout Newfoundland in hopes of getting some Caitlin to salt and dry. People have grouped up and there are a number of bonfires along the shoreline. This has always been a wonderful tradition and it started long before the arrival of the Europeans. Water up the door, two rivers. First one's in there. You see it back in the mountains on them too. You walk it back again. This fine fisherman landed a nice sea trout. And there were a few other nice sea trout taken that night. Frank Russell landed a real brute later that evening. A nice trout. Oh, look here. What a dandy, nice trout. Oh, he's got to be a pound or more, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Very nice. Well done. Huh? Well done. This was a time when we would catch cod from the shore while waiting for the capelin to land. I wish they would open the food fishery earlier to marry up with the spawning of the capelin. But I have to say, it brings back a lot of fond memories for me seeing people fishing from the shore. No better way to spend the evening here in Newfoundland. People of all ages have come here for the Mighty Keepman, a true staple in the Newfoundland diet. Yeah, on YouTube, there, right? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Glad you're all for us. Oh, pretty good. Were you down here this morning? No. They said it was on the wheel down here this morning. The most you've seen in years. Draggers are in or something. Oh, the draggers coming this morning right after them. We're on the beach, apparently. This way. Yeah, it shouldn't be allowed. No. <clears throat> no way. Just... You're right, I can't change that. No, sir. So, what do you say, eh? What do you got there now? Keep them. Right on. Fine one, eh? <laughs> I'm down here with Chris Tiller here at uh, Kippins River. And he's going to go out and get a few cape on. Or maybe a codfish. And maybe a cod. <laughs> go, go give her a flick there now. See what you can do there. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll, I'll watch you on the camera. With every cast comes the expectations of hooking a dandy trout, salmon, or cod. Add to this the smell of the ocean breeze, smoke from the many fires, and the peaceful sound of waves crashing softly on the beach. Well, sir, this is a true recipe for happiness. It's nice to hear the excitement in the children's voices as they play along the shoreline in hopes of seeing the Capelin land. The seagulls feed heavily on the capelin as well. Yes, it's capelin time again. Oh, hey, hey, how's it going, guy? <laughs> what are you up to, buddy? You can't, uh, you can't uh, escape this. <laughs> Guy Styles, GNR. How's it going? Good, buddy, good. <laughs> oh, you got something on there now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Still got it or you lost it? I must have lost it. Yeah. Now yeah. I gotta keep an eye on the young fellow. He's there somewhere. Yeah, oh, you will. You better get going. <laughs> So 
So the Caitlin have been landing in the last few days here in the Bay St. George area. This is Caitlin that I got from last year. And because I still had Caitlin uh, in, in the fridge, there's no way I could justify going out and getting more until Caitlin I got is eaten. So, uh, I'd actually, i would forgotten all about it. Normally we eat Caitlin in, uh, during the summer months when we're out on the, on the river or out camping or out moose hunting. We'll uh, always take some a pack of Caitlin to, to fry up. And we do it in, in the winter as well on on, uh, on Skidoo, but I didn't do it this year. I'm not sure why. But anyway, that's Caitlin, and that's what I do. I don't eat the heads. A lot of people will. You can eat the heads, <clears throat> and, and I don't eat the uh, the fins, eh? I try, I try to break off the fins. But other than that, everything gets eat. Here is a secret weapon. Tied that one, tied that one last night. All the salmon I've been catching this year, been on this. So this is this is what I've been working on lately. Uh, this is going to be fully enclosed, and there's going to be storage out to the sides. Uh, the, those boards here, laid up here, they're just laid against the, the wall for now. Uh, but. That will be, uh, there will be doors to get out into each one of these little openings. Alright, so you come here and you open up the door and there will be three totes out there. Three large totes. And then you close that door and there will be three large totes laid there. And the way I'm going to have this designed here is uh, there will be a hatch that comes down from up here and fills in that gap once, once I'm upstairs. So there will be a built-in ladder, we won't have this ladder here. Be a built-in ladder that you drop down and come up here, drop the hatch, and then I got a fully enclosed area. So my plans are to, to put some a desk back here. All right, there'll be a desk back here overlooking the, the fire pit. I got a pile of ground there, and I got a big tarpaulin over it to kind of rot out the ground. And then I'm going to use it for fill for all the little hollow spots out in the, in the yard. And we're going to build a nice fire pit there. We're going to put that crushed stone all around it. There'll be four, four nice posts and a fence right around, probably about a four and a half or a five foot uh, fence all the way around, probably four and a half feet. Fence all the way around it. And then lights uh, around the top of it, obviously. But uh, I got a little uh, fly tying set up. I just put this up here yesterday. Nowhere near done, but it's nice to get out of the house and come out here and tie some flies. Oh, I don't think I opened up the back window this morning. There we go. Uh, look right out into the, the backyard. I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting this completed. But for now, I'm gonna tie a few, a few flies, a few of my secret weapons. I'll give you a quick look. There's one of them. And this is the other one. Boy, if you can go out to the river and you don't get a salmon on either one of them, there's something wrong. So these are the, the flies that I just tied here this afternoon, here in the, uh, what will soon be my fly tying workshop. I'm gonna head out to Harry's and catch a salmon on one of those flies this evening. Got the driveway done today. I don't know if you see that or not. So it's time to go out and catch some salmon. Out fishing with Cousin Jack. He gets first honors in the pool because once I make a pass down through it with my salmon crack flies, I knew I'd hook into a fish. Black one with the green flashing. I actually hooked two before I made it to the end of the pool, and this one was a big one. I thought I had started the camera when I played the second one, but I had not. Oh, come out!
With the high water levels, the salmon were hanging up along the big rocks and ledges on the far tail end of the pool in the calmer water. You needed to cast a long line to reach them on a 45 degree angle. Under normal conditions, the salmon will normally hang up right around the current. Well, me and me and uh, I, I gave Brendan a couple of flies yesterday. Okay, where did you see him? In at the office. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So here with uh, Ken Kendall, Mr. Kendall. Yeah. Saturday, and of course, Thursday Jack morning. from YouTube. Yes, yeah, yeah. Superstar <laughs> from YouTube. Yeah. How have you been doing with the fishing so far here? Good. Uh, I had. Uh, I had an unfortunate day there the other day. I was out. I'll shut off the camera there now and tell you what. This was another day and it was the third salmon I hooked on this day. I had just gotten to the pool and made about three casts when the first salmon grabbed my fly. I played it out and while I revived it, I looked for my tags. I couldn't find them where I normally keep them in my vest, so I released the fish. Now, while this was happening, there was another fisherman above me in the river, and when he seen that I had hooked the salmon right away, he headed down to fish alongside of me. So, I decided to go back out into the run. While I was out there, I planned on doing a real good search for my tags. Well, again, before I could get out into the pool, I hooked into another lovely salmon, and this one was very close to the maximum limit that you could retain. A perfect fish to tag. Well, just before the other fisherman got to me, I landed and revived that salmon. And again, a quick search of my vests. Still no tags to be found, so I released the salmon. Now I was thinking I might have placed them in my other pack instead of in my vest, but that's something that I would not normally do. So when this fella shows up, he introduced himself as a fisheries officer and asked me about the two fish I just released. I told him that I released the first one because it was too small and the second one because I couldn't find my tags. He then told me that he was not trying to drive me off the pool, but that I needed to have a valid tag in order to fish. I said with catch and release, I thought all I needed was a valid fishing license. He again said no, you needed a valid tag plus your license, which made no sense to me. So I took off my vest and I found my tags on the right hand inside pocket of my vest where I would never kept my tags before. Go figure. So I decided to go back out into the pool and I hooked into this salmon, that one you see me playing now. But instead of tailing this fish, like I did the others, I decided to beach him, and I lost him as I worked my way down to a good beach to land it. You have got to love the Kawasaki Mule Pro FXR for getting me out onto the river. Driving on the railway bed, heading back towards Stephenville now. And as always, thanks for watching. Sorry for the delays in my uploads, but I've been a really busy fellow the last few weeks. The next video you'll see should be about trail cams. Here is a new fly pattern I came up with called the Laughing Charlie after my grandfather. 
Here's a sneak preview of the next video. It's going to be of my stealth cams. Mama and her little one, a cow moose, a little bull, and a bigger bull. So I hope you guys check out that video when I post it.